Welcome to today's Convos and Coffee. It's so good to be here, Bethel family. Uh, so today we're continuing our series of healthy habits. And today I'm going to talk a little bit about listening. Oh, don't we all love listening? Um, well, we like listening when we choose, right? We like listening to our podcasts, but listening when somebody wants to share something that we don't want to hear, maybe not so much. Okay, but I'll leave that. I'll leave that for you. Um, but we're going to be going into this and talking about listening to God. And I got to say, listening is a big deal. Um, having two-way communication is crucial. It's crucial for friendships. It's crucial for marriages. It's crucial for um, your your good friends, your family members, your kids to your parents, etc. Communication is so crucial. And just as important it for it is for us to share our hearts and our desires and our, our prayer requests and and asking God to, to move, it's also probably even more important that we take time to listen and hear God's voice, that we take time to hear from him and allow him to speak to us. And so today we're going to read from John chapter 10, 1 verse 5. So turn to your Bibles or you can just listen to me, but it's uh, the good shepherd and his sheep. Uh, verse 10 says, I tell you the truth. Anyone who sneaks over the wall of a sheepfold rather than going through the gate must surely be a thief and a robber. But the one who enters through the gate is the shepherd of the sheep, Jesus. The gatekeeper opens the gate for, the, for him and the sheep recognize his voice and come to him. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. After he has gathered his own flock, he walks ahead of them and they follow him because they know his voice. They won't follow a stranger and they will run from a stranger because they don't know his voice. Wow, God just speaks through that passage in Jesus' name. Oh, it's so cool. Um, oftentimes, I know that you guys might be mad at me for saying this, but aren't we like sheep? I know like they're not like the most um, smart creatures on the planet, um, but aren't we like sheep sometimes where we need to be led, we need to be fed, we need to be protected, um, and we have no clue what, a, like, what lies over the next hill in our lives. And we need a shepherd in our lives. We need Jesus to lead us and to guide us. Um, but in order for him to lead us and for, in order for him to guide us, we need to know his voice. This passage uh, reminds us that there will be voices in life. There will be things that come at us, uh, situations, um, abundance in, in life and in sin or in other people and perspectives and opinions. There will be voices in life. Um, but we're supposed to listen to the shepherd's voice. But how are we supposed to hear the shepherd's voice in distinction outside of all the other voices if we don't spend time listening to God? You get what I'm saying? If we're supposed to be in a place where we hear God and we know his voice and we know to ignore the people, the opinions, the ideas, the perspectives that are not God's, especially when it comes to your, what you speak over yourself, but we don't take time to know the intimacy of God's voice, are we not setting ourselves up for failure? And so the shepherd calls the sheep by name, showing that, that God has personal relationship with us, personal connection with his sheep. And the shepherd leads them by providing direction and leadership without driving, without pushing, without forcing the sheep. And they, that his sheep will, will hear his voice and they will follow him by choice. And it's very evident that in this passage that the sheep won't listen to other voices. And so Bethel family, I just want to encourage you today. Do you recognize the voice of the good shepherd? Do you recognize the voice of God? 
or or is it still in a mix with the other voices in life have you spent time to build a relationship with god to sit in the presence of god in your prayer time um, or in the bible or at church or um, have you taken time to recognize through other people that when god is speaking because if we're going to make it through life if we're going to be <laughs> like these sheep protected and led we need to know our shepherd's voice and we can do that by spending time in god's word how will we know to recognize god's voice well if it doesn't line up with that chop it um other ways we can is in worship and just stop speaking like literally close your mouth and just listen and that's another way that we can hear god's voice and just focus on listening and I just want to encourage you and say that like sometimes we're good to give God five minutes, you know, like, oh God, I'll, I'll just sit here in silence and wait for your voice in five minutes. Or, oh God, if I don't get an answer by next week, like I'm just going to make my own decision. But sometimes we have to recognize that God works outside of our timeline and we also can't rush God because God is never late. He's never early. He's always right on time. And so I just want to encourage you, when you're spending time with God, push a little longer and give God room to speak so that you can hear his voice, so that you can become aware of him, and that you can recognize it to the point where all other voices drown out, and that you can continue to be led by him in every day in your walk with God. Anyways, that's it. That's all, my friends. Focus on building your time to listen with God. And I can guarantee that things will change in your life. Be blessed, Bethel family. And remember, like always, you belong.